What's up you guys? Welcome to a new video and a new series on this channel that has to do with home cleaning and other organizational stuff. But in this video particularly, we are going to be doing a review on a steam mop that I purchased off Amazon. So let's unbox and let me show you what I got. Come here, come a little closer. So I need to steam my floors and I don't have one. So I seen this on Amazon. I figured this would be the perfect time, let me get into frame, to do a review. So this is it, that's a lot smaller. I guess it's called the Skeenly. I hope I'm saying that right. So I like the box. It's cute. Oh, here's a good look at what the mop looks like. I can take a look at it. It's pink, but that's not why I got it. I got it because it looked like it was a good mop for the price. <laughs> All right, let's move this out of the way. I already vacuumed. I already got all of that done, so all I have to do is try this out. This is the bottom piece to it. This is the bar. We have some detachable nozzles. And the water. All right, I'll show you that close up. And then this pop, oh nice, comes with one, two pads, your instructions. This is not cordless, so this one does come with a cord, and then this is the top of it, so. Alright, here is a quick look of the mop now that it's out of the box. It uh, has a dark gray and pink detailing up close. You have your on button for the steam and then you have different steam levels, low, medium, and high. This part, this compartment, can, um, holds your water. I haven't read the instructions yet. I am just going based off of like what I am seeing. <laughs> All right, so let me put this box. So let me tell you everything that comes in the box with the mop and the names that go with everything. So these are the microfiber pads that are gonna go on the bottom. This is the jet nozzle. This is the glass squeegee right here. This, this is the sponge head. So I guess if you wanna like wash something or sponge something off. This one right here is the grout brush. This one is the metal brush. And then these two are the two nylon brushes. And that's everything so in the manual it does say this is the water tank and this is how you release the head to use the different nozzles so you take the jet nozzle and you put that on and then like that all right so you gotta kind of like work these in but yeah, so you kind of get the deal. And then you can go around and clean whatever it is you need to clean. We are gonna test this out as well and see how it works Ugh. with all this thing. What is in here? All the little water thing. All right. 
this. So to put the microfiber towel on, it literally just sticks on. So and this tab needs to be facing you. Okay. Honestly, can't get any easier than that. Just rip off and Put back on. Alright, so done. Next, filling the water. Here's the floor. Here, I'm gonna turn. Okay, now I'd have it on two. It is steaming them. If you can see, this there's this steam. Right off the bat, I enjoyed it. I did my little area right here, and it dries like within 30 seconds. It dries, so you can put your mats back and you know do the rest of the floors so far but yeah it's dry it's nice it's actually a lot easier than mopping that's for sure but so i'm just gonna finish up these floors and then i will meet you in the bathroom to see how this mirror squeegee works on my mirrors so also we're gonna test this out as well that's gonna be for later let me get to these floors and I'll see you in like one second. Before I X out, I was just doing my mat and I just wanna show you how easy it is. Turn it back on, you can hear it. So easy. You can hit this again. I mean, hold on. You just hold it down and it puts it in like this standby mode where it turns the steam off. And then when you're ready to use it again, you just, and then it starts back up, hold it down, standby mode. And then you can go and, whoops, go do, and, uh, go do whatever it is you have to do. but. In that time, I just want to show you like how easy it is to just disinfect, steam your, your kitchen mats. And as you can see, it's like already dry in some places. It's, it's, that's how fast it dries. This over here is already dry. This is drying out already. So just for reference. All right, so let's test this out. I refilled the water. Not all the way up, but some of the way up. Let's first try out this squeegee. Let's see. Are you able to see? up I noticed that it dries 
with no streak, so that's nice. Let's try a different nozzle. I think we're going to do, so let's try this one and the shower. So instead of the shower, I thought it would be best to see if how it cleans the grout since this is used for a grout. We're gonna see how this works. For instance, you see this is all dirty, nasty. Turn this on. Wait for it to kind of like get full power. You'll hear it. So much better, so much cleaner. I don't know if this, and it's hard to see on camera. But if you just use the grout cleaner and then use your mop, mop it, that's what I'm gonna do. So you can see the before. I'm gonna go with this grout cleaner and I'm gonna clean the grout. I don't have a big bathroom. I can see if you did have a big bathroom, but it works really nice. Well, all right, you guys, that's it for this video. I just want to say that this was definitely worth the purchase. I'm very happy with it. It's light. I mean, I don't go to the gym that often, but I have no issues with using this. But all in all, five out of five. I am happy. Yeah, no regrets with this purchase. And I love all the nozzle heads that it comes with. Thanks for tuning in in this video. If you're interested in checking out this mop on Amazon, I'm gonna leave the description link down below so it's easy to find but it is the shing i don't know steamer mop and i'm happy with the purchase so what's up you guys i am back with an update so i have been using my steam mop for about three to four weeks now i want to say about for a good month Mm, possibly who knows about a month and let me tell you there are a few well there's probably one thing that I want to note about the mop before I wrap up this video because I've been using it and I do realize that when I'm just going at it around my apartment that the handle part this handle isn't the comfortablest. I do notice that I switch, if you can see me, I will start and then I switch and then I switch. It's just a weird angle, like ergonomically weird uh, to, I guess, hold hold the handle like this in such a long time, I just noticed that my wrist does get tired from holding the mop. Not when I have it off, so when I have it and I'm using it regular, it's not too bad. And I think it's because I'm able to like pull it up rather than having it down ways and stuff. I don't know, but I do notice that when I'm mopping, and it's a good thing that my, my, my place isn't big. You know, I only have the living area and then the bathroom and I'm done. So this, it takes like 20 minutes the most, you know, if I want to be through full about everything, 30. But 
within that time, I, I noticed that I'm switching my hands because the handle, it's not the most comfortable when you're, you know, going around and steaming. Now, does that change my mind on my purchase? No, I still love the mop. I still enjoy using it. I started using the handles for some clothes because it's a steamer. So I, I put the, the glass steam on nozzle on and then I will steam my clothes and get out wrinkles. So it works for that. It, it's handy. I love it. If my house was bigger, I mean, I can see my wrist getting irritated because you do, it's, it's heavy because of this component and it has the water. So your, your wrist gets a little tiring, so you'll switch, but it's not like that big of a deal. Again, it's if I, you know, 30 minutes and then I'm done with it, unless I wanna use this, the upper component for other things, but it's just something to note. It's something to think about when you're purchasing. And again, this was only $99, $100. So it does a great job at steaming the floors. It gets them clean. I feel like my my floors stay clean longer. They're, you know, there's no stickiness. There's no residue. I love everything about the mop is just to keep in mind that if I moved to a bigger home, let's just say like I got like a big house or you know, four bedroom house or three bedroom house, I would probably still use this until I have, until I find something that is more comfortable with the handle in order for me to upgrade and if the price is right. But for now, this does the job. So for like a small apartment, I think this does amazing unless you don't have a lot of floors in your house, this would be great. But if your house is big and you have a lot of floors to cover, the handle could get annoying and it could cause a lot of um, just wrist strain. So, that's something to think about because if I had a bigger house, I would probably upgrade to something that still is price effective and still does a great job, but just that the handle is a lot more um, user friendly, I would like to say. But yeah, so I just wanted to point that out there. Again, I'm still happy with my purchase. I use this like two to three times, no, not two to three times a week, what am I talking about? One to two times a week, you know. Um, and I don't regret the buy, I like it. It's light, you know, besides, again, this little thing, you'll see yourself switching over, but it's on the user's perspective, again, you know. Again, if you have a small living space, this may be enough for you to get by until you purchase the house of your dreams and you realize that, hey, I have more floors in this house. I'll use this for now until I am able to upgrade and get something that's more user-friendly on the handle because this is gonna be a lot more to do. But I just wanted to put that in my video so you guys can make a sound decision when purchasing this based off of you know what i've experienced and the handle but everything else i'm i'm not complaining at all so thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one and i hope you guys are having an amazing new start to 2023. Bye.